What's up guys? It has been a while since we've made a video and there is a, actually a very good reason for that and I'm going to show you guys right now. Chris. What we got? This is the reason. Chris is the reason why there hasn't been a video for a while. And I know you guys are like, oh you're blaming Chris? No, no it's my fault. I'm not blaming Chris. Chris has moved on to making cutscenes for the new game project we've been working on. And I'm going to show you guys a sample right here. Bam! We got a spotlight. Dog rounds the corner. He's booking it. He's running. Searchlight's still on him. And oh, here he comes. I can't escape the helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's doing this. Is he down? Is he down? Is oh. he down? Oh, more. Right. Oh, yeah. I see him twitching. Oh, I down. see him moving. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, oh. So rewind. We had we had we had two options. So we had we had two options of what we could do here. Easy and way and the hard way. The easy way and the hard way. And the easy way was it's tedious and time consuming. It's the same sort of thing that you would do if you're doing blood hits and after effects. You gotta hand key each blood hit, you gotta have the position and the timing of it all in the timeline individually. Yeah, the hard way is create a particle system, and we figured one and out both of them would probably equal about the same amount of work to create a particle system that can hit the dog dynamically, or to hand place them. However, in this case, we wanted the flexibility, and we wanted to learn as much as possible, and so we decided to do it the particle system way. So now, Kevin, once the labor goes into it, we have to the touch of a button, we can just fire down shots, raining from from above. So the animation is actually mocap of myself that we did like a couple like a week ago, mm -hmm. where I ran in the perception neuron suit. And um, and faked like I was getting hit, but I figure that that layer is like the muscles is the muscles twitching while getting shot. It's not actually the input from the bullets, and so now we need to layer in another level of the bullets hitting him. Yep. And that's that's the final touch. That's the that's the next step. That's the kiss that makes it so beautiful. Kevin's gonna whip it up. We'll be right back. Alex, we need you. It hurts to laugh. <laughs> less. I, mean, I hate to say less bullets, but we need less bullets. You gotta edit in that shot from uh, from the Truman Show where he's like standing in the rain, you know? Yeah. He's like so excited about it. <laughs> Yo, what is Puppet Master? That's a good question. It's like an advanced ragdoll system. Puppet Master is an advanced ragdoll system that does hilarious physics stuff like that. It's a, available on the Unity Asset Store for $90. Is it? Is it $90? I think it's, I think it's $90. Bucks. It's one of the best $90 you can spend on the Asset Store, that's for that's sure. That's true. And so that's hitting, it with, that's hitting it with 11 Newtons, and right now the whole dog weighs 100 kilograms. So you imagine an impulse force over the course of one frame hitting it with, with 11 Newtons. Uh, should have about the impact. So it's, the the weight is distributed throughout his whole body. So let's wait for him to get hit. Can we get to the ground there? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So each hit is like like eleven. What would eleven newtons feel like? It's like it's like a bit of a bit of a punch. I'm talking about filmmaking versus uh, versus games. In film, you only have your you only have your stuntman. Like when people when you pretend to take a hit, you know you're like. Ugh. And we did the exact same thing here for the mocap, where I'm pretending to take the hit, but you never can quite get when you're doing mocap or in like or in film that actual like bullet impact going in. You only have the sort of like muscle twitch to getting hit. And so now in the game engine, we got the layer of the muscles, and then you have the added layer of like that bullet going in. So should be just just right. We're doing last looks for the dog, the puppet master animation. So Kevin's gonna Kevin's gonna he's gonna act it out for us. <laughs> just, just bring it, bring it You like that? Or do we need a few more, a few more newtons? A few more what? A few more newtons? Yeah, I think a little bit. There we go. Oh, oh, <laughs> dude, give me like, give me at least 40. Give me 40. Okay. Why not? <laughs> this, is, this is where we go to regret. Oh, dude. <laughs> I'm digging 50. He's pretty good. Yeah. Maybe 50, 50 final answer. <laughs> oh yeah, that's pretty good. One, one more time from inside the house. Down in there, here he comes. <laughs> it's, 
good. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> More on that soon. We're actually ready to, we're gonna have a teaser trailer pretty shortly. And so once we have that ready, I'll, forgive me for being vague on the details of the game for a bit. We'll get there. As stated at the onset, the reason why the videos in this channel went away was because Chris transitioned over, and rightfully so, transitioned over to doing cutscenes rather than shooting and editing the behind the scenes. But as I said, there is a solution. And the solution is enabled by technology. So we used to shoot all behind the scenes on this camera. This is a trusted camera shot. Almost every single Freddy W video on this, FS700. Um, however, I recently picked up what I call the vlogger special, which is the Canon 80D. Essentially, it's, it's what every single person's using for like self-shooting right now, and rightfully so, because what it has is something called dual pixel autofocus. So what it is, is every single pixel on the sensor is actually subdivided into two photo diodes. And now when it does autofocus, first it does like a face detection, so it's using just like your average old face detection on my face, saying, hey, I wanna keep this in focus. And then what it does is it takes all those pixels, uh, looks at both sides, which gives it a slightly different 3D perspective, calculates the depth from that, and then uses that to auto-rack the focus of the lens to me. So I no longer need to operate on the camera. The second thing that enabled like self-shooting and what makes this the good vlogging camera is that you have cheap wide-angle lenses. Canon has a lot of good auto-focusing lenses that are super wide and so they allow close arm length proximity. So that plus a nice little tripod and you can self-shoot like you never before. So technology enables a solution and around here we never want to be afraid to adapt to new things, free up jobs because it's not eliminating a job. What it really is is it lets Chris go over and work on new stuff, learn new stuff while we can more efficiently create this content. Let's see how fast I can edit this video. I think it's going to take about, let's try to do 45 minutes, 45 minutes.